family of 30-year-old Angelo Quinto has reached a multi-million dollar settlement with the city of Antioch. Thank you for joining us here on Crown 4 News at 5. I'm Noel Bello. And I'm Grant Lotus. Quinto died in police custody in 2020. His family says he was having a mental health crisis when they called for help. His death created statewide change in how police officers handle calls like this. Crown 4's Lesla Gooden spoke with his family about what this means for them. Angela Quinto's family says being able to close this chapter on their civil suit with the city of Antioch is filled with mixed emotions. We're at the beginning of what needs to be done. This is not the end. Mm -hmm. This is only scratching the surface mm -hmm. of what we need to do uh, to get accountability, transparency, uh, and a uh, police department across this nation that are responsive to every member of the community, not just the privileged few. Family will be awarded $7.5 million after the Antioch City Council voted to approve it on a closed session on Tuesday. John Burris, civil rights attorney, says this case has the potential of saving others like Angelo. Given the new mindset that has developed here in this city and, and, and some of the other cities around, that we won't have people uh, seeking help, families seeking help, losing their loved ones uh, at a time when a different form of interaction a less intrusive form, a less aggressive form, uh, could have could have resolved it differently. Stating as a port with the family is the mayor of Antioch, who says although it's unusual for a city official to be here while announcing a settlement, it's a start of change. Uh, before we had body cameras, the city worked tirelessly to ensure that we didn't have body cameras. And the city worked tirelessly to ensure that everybody believed that nothing was wrong um, in our police department. Uh, and so years of, frankly, failed leadership uh, brought us to this moment. Among the family is Angela's sister, Bella. She's the one who called police while he was having a mental health crisis. She wants him to be remembered for the life he lived. A positive legacy for him or facilitate a positive legacy. And I think we've been so lucky that we've been able to do that. In Antioch, Leslie Gooden, Cron 4 News.